Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going through a really juicy Pilates stretch workout. So all you need is your mat. Put on some chill music, have some chill vibes because this one's just gonna get your body balanced and feeling better and I know that's what I need right about now. So when you're ready, we will head to the mat. Here we go. Start on the back edge of your mat with your feet about hip distance apart, soft bend to your knees. Give me a big inhale up and a big exhale. Two more times, just the arms. Really stretch, push down through your feet one more time. Big arms up, now slowly roll down, very, very slow, articulating your spine. Let your head hang down, nice bent knees. Bend your knees as much as you need to and let your chest fall to your thighs for three, for two. Now slowly walk your hands forward into a nice plank position. Feel a strong line in your body here. Lift your hips back up to a downward dog. Now you're in what looks like an upside down V shape. Notice my knees are bent. I'm pushing my heels into the mat. And then we reverse. Walk your hands back to your feet. Really slowly roll up through your legs. Draw all the energy up through the mat. Roll the shoulders back. Now let's start to flow right there. Here we go. Round, peel your spine, scoop your belly. Check out what's happening with your feet. Walk your hands out to a plank. <sighs> Lift your hips up to a nice V shape. Look at your toes, push your heels down. <sighs> Walk your hands back. Hold it there. Roll your body up for four, three, two. Let's do that again. I'm already feeling a little better. Whew. I worked out a little bit today and I realized I haven't done Pilates in about maybe three or four days, probably four days, and I am really feeling it. <sighs> like my body just does not feel good when I don't incorporate Pilates into it. And that might just be a personal thing, but today I was like, oh, why is my body just not feeling connected? Last one. And I'm like, oh, probably because I haven't taught Pilates or done Pilates in a hot second. Hips go back up, push your heels down, hold it. Now we push one heel, then the other. See how far apart my hands and my feet are. Try not to bring your hands closer to your feet to make the stretch easier. It's okay if the stretch is a little bit uncomfortable here. I don't care if you have to bend those knees. Ooh, I'm feeling it a lot in my calves. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Hold both heels down, both heels go up. I'm really checking out what's happening in my feet. I'm pushing through my big toes. Two more times here, two. Heels push, one. Heels push, hold it for three, two. And lower to your knees. Whew. Let's start with some cat cows right here. Round your back. Hips back, chest up, big stretch, go again. And back, two more. Should feel really, really good in your spine. And back, last one. Curl under, hold it here for three, two, and a one. Alrighty, let's lie down on your belly. Hands go underneath your shoulders. Roll the shoulders back and push your toes into the ground. Let's give me a big inhale. Nice swan stretch. Ooh, my elbow lower down. <laughs> 
Keep going here. I really want you to glue your toenail polish down to the floor. Activate your glutes. Push through your hands, through your fingertips and draw your belly in. Two more times. I don't care how high you go, notice how my shoulders are pulling down my back. Ooh, one more time. Lift, hold it for three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Now stack your hands, get your little hairs out of your face. <laughs> Lay all the way down, but extend your right arm. You're gonna reach back and grab for the top of that right foot. Now, my right quad is really, 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 really tight right here. Yours might be tight too. You might need to get a little towel or maybe you can just barely hold on. That's totally okay. But I want you to push your hip bones right here into the mat as you draw your heel towards your booty, almost as if your thigh could lift off the mat. We don't want booty off the mat. We want thigh off. We're getting hip extension here for three. For two, I feel a big old stretch. And lower that down, Whew. other side. Left arm, I reach back, I grab for that foot. It doesn't matter, maybe yours is just right here. Maybe you can barely touch, that's okay. I'm thinking about pushing my hip bone into the mat as I lift my thigh up. For three. For two. Woo. Give that thigh just an inch more lift. And lower it down. Now, okay, lift both legs using your glutes. Extend both arms. Can we reach both hands back? Maybe you can just hold to here. If you can advance, really grab the tops of your feet. Lift your chest. Open your heart in the front of your hips. This is rocking prep in Pilates. Make sure you're always drawing your belly in. Yours might be bigger or smaller than mine. For three, two, and lower all the way down. Arms come out to a T. Let's finish right here. From your glute, lift your right leg. Tap your right heel back behind you. Get a big old stretch. Open through the front of your hip. Make sure your boobicle doesn't come out. <laughs> For three, two, other side. You might even get a little shoulder stretch. I lift my leg, I tap it back. Maybe, ooh, I got a big old pop in my pelvis there. Ooh, this side's definitely a little tighter. First three, you get a big stretch in your back in the front of your hip, two. Whoa. All right, bring it back, hands next to your shoulders. Let's do a little child's pose stretch. I know that can be a lot on your back, but it's really, really opening. See if you can walk your hands out just a little further. Woo! And then roll yourself up. Come to the middle of your mat in a Z sit position. So I'm gonna take my right leg in front, parallel to the mat, and I'm gonna sit heavy on this left hip, like I'm pushing my thighs down, my chest up, roll the shoulders back. We've got mermaid right here. Arms come out to a T, left hand down, big stretch over. Woo. If this bothers your hips or knees at all, just extend your legs out in front of you or sit crisscross applesauce and then try the other side. Right here, you wanna think about left hip down. Again, on this one, try not to let your right leg lift up with you. Push it down for more hip mobility. And pull it up and over. One more time here. And reach. And over. We're gonna do it one more and we're gonna add on a little. We go over with the left hand. And now we place the right hand down underneath the right shoulder. We stretch that left leg out long. You hold it here and then you lower it back down where you came from, mermaid other side. 
Let's flow a little bit here. Extend left leg, I don't care how high it goes. Push your hip bones forward towards me. And I really like to press off my hands. Just two more here. Big stretch up, it's a big, huge hip opener, which are so important, especially because we sit all dang day. Last one, hold it right here. Breathe, oh, and don't fall over like me. <laughs> now your top arm threads through, twist your spine. Extend, repeat, big twist, and lift. Repeat, big twist. Woo, takes balance too. Four, feels nice and juicy on your spine. Five, we're almost there. Two more, six, woo, don't fall over baby. Seven, one more. Keep that left leg lifted. I know it's burning. Bring it all the way up. Can you reach back, grab a hold of that left thigh, left foot, wherever you can, and open it for a big hip stretch for three, two, one. Extend everything out. Come back to your Z sit position and do a little mermaid here. Whew. That was a big old stretch on my left side and I really feel the difference now. Oh, switch legs. I needed that, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I've been doing a lot of legs recently at the gym. And it just makes my hips so grumpy, right? You can see how this right hip wants to lift. Push that thing down. Arms out, right hand down, mermaid stretch. I don't care how low you go. And then over. Woo. Without letting your lower body move, this is all a motion of the spine. Two. And two. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. <laughs> that last exercise definitely was not easy. One more here. Reach over. Now let's add on, place the left hand down, hips come up, big stretch out. Did you hear my little hip pop? <laughs> Lower. We've got eight of these, here we go. And two. Oh, big stretch over. Reach out. Abs in and up. Whew. How are you breathing? Push your hips forward towards me. Let's do one more here. Reach it out and hold. Make sure both hip pockets are pointing towards me. Arm is up, right leg stays there. Thread a needle around. If you need to lower your right foot down, that's always an option here to modify. Ooh, my left leg is really working hard. It's like you're reaching back to someone behind you. Four. Make it come from your spine, your ribs. Five. Six, we're almost there. Woo, baby. Seven. One more. Eight. Hold it at the top, reach back, grab that foot. Give yourself a nice big stretch through your right hip and your left. Extend everything back out in a beautiful line. Sit your hips down on both butt cheeks. Big stretch over for three, two, and okay. Last things here, y'all. Half roll back. You should be feeling nice and zesty. Feet are planted down on the mat, hands behind your thighs to help you really lift your chest. Now round your back. Scoop your belly. Slowly start to roll back just so your arms go straight. And then roll back up, sit up tall. Repeat again. Round and scoop like you're being punched in the tummy. And then pull yourself back up. And lift up tall. Repeat. Under, pelvis, round and lift. Ooh, one more time here. Make sure you got some space behind you for this next one. Scoop. 
Now bring it up, I'm gonna shimmy forward just an inch. Roll back again, behind your sits bones, but let your feet lift. Not too high, not too low, heels together, rolling like a ball. If you've got any disc issues, any spinal issues, just hold your position here. Advancement is to add your rocking. You're never going to your shoulders or head, just to the tips of your shoulder blades. See how I'm rounding, and then I'm rolling back up. Ooh, it's not easy. It's not easy being cheesy, baby. Shoulders are down out of the ears. This one, hands can come to front of ankles if you wanna advance. But this exercise, the smaller you do it, the harder. So maybe I only roll back to like right there. Let's see. Really round your spine. Two more. Oh, my abs, honey bunny. One more. Balance, hold. Extend your legs, extend your arms up. Give me a big hamstring stretch. Sit up tall, arms go back, chest opens, hips lift. Repeat, hips down, arms up, dive over. Breathe into the backs of your legs. Arms back, hips up, I don't care how high you go. One more time. Arms up, stretch over. Arms lift, hips up, hold it for three, two, and lower yourself down because you are finished. Feels good. I feel much better. I know my body really needed that, especially because I've been participating in my revenge body challenge, doing the challenge, I filmed the challenge. It's hard freaking work. So I will include the link below if you guys wanna give it a try. It's over on the Playbook app and it's only $12.99, a one-time purchase, duh. And hopefully I'll see you on the mat on Playbook or here on YouTube every single week. Me and you times two, just kidding. <laughs> All right, you guys, talk to you later, bye.